Okay. Good morning, friends. You say good morning? Good morning. And in French, en français, we say bonjour, mes amis. Can you say that? Well done, Alice. Bonjour, mes amis. Good to see everyone this morning. Hope everyone's well. It is the second day of our week. So it is Tuesday. What day is it, Alice? Tuesday. It's Tuesday. What letter does... The, oh, thank you. Oh, what, letter does, have what letter does Tuesday start with? It starts with a... T. 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 T for Tuesday. And today's number is number five on its own. That's right, number five on its own. It's the about any day. more numbers. And our month is May, and it starts with an M for mummy. So today is Tuesday, the fifth of May, and it's a lovely looking day already. And I think it's going to be a nice sunny one. Whoop whoop! Tomorrow's going to be nice too. So let's make the most of it. But today, we're not quite ready. I'm just going to tell everyone what we're going to do. Okay. Alice is going to do a bit of painting uh, for us this morning while I'm having a chat with you. I wonder if anyone can guess what famous French thing we're painting today. We're painting a lighthouse. It does look like a lighthouse, but this is actually a painting of the Eiffel Tower. And the Eiffel Tower is there. Very big and very tall, and Daddy Pig got stuck on the top of there. <laughs> That's right, it's very big and tall, and there is an episode uh, of Peppa Pig where Daddy Pig got stuck. On the top. On the top of the Eiffel Tower, so... Yeah, that's funny. <laughs> that's so funny. So I was inspired. I'm a big girl, everyone remember? Yeah, everyone knows you're a big girl, don't worry. I was really inspired. Um, I was looking at some I pictures. A big colour. Yes, Mummy's speaking for everyone, okay. I was really inspired when I saw pictures of the Eiffel Tower surrounded by fireworks. And they were beautiful, and, beautiful and pictures. Are, and are they not and are they not burning? No, well they were in the sky, so it was fine. So I thought I'd have a go at doing them? our own we can't touch fireworks, but I thought we could try it and do our own sort of version of this. So what I have got is a blue piece of paper, but I think it could be any colour. And I've done a really thin layer of kind of greyish paint, really, really thin layer. And I've put some masking tape on the top, the kind that we use for DIY for painting and things like that. So that's what we've got. And I've made it in the shape roughly of the Eiffel Tower. It's not exactly the Eiffel Tower, but you get the idea. So what I thought could look cool is if we put lots of colours all over this now, all over the page, some lovely reds, greens, purples, blues, all over the place and then what we'll do once we finish covering the paper is we're going to peel off the tape and hopefully it'll look a bit like the Eiffel Tower. Okay so Alice this is your job is to get your paints, I'll dip use in the red paint brushes one. and we're going to do some lovely paint. painting all over and it doesn't matter where the colours go it's just for fun okay so I'm doing some purple oh, here. I'm going to do some at the bottom. So remember though, you don't just want to cover the uh, tape, you want to go around where the tape is, okay? So you want it to look kind of cool with colours all around it, like there's big explosions in the sky. And you can let the colours mix a wee bit, that looks good. I can use red. And it's just our little interpretation of a French celebration. The French people love to have fireworks on a special day of the year called Bastille Day. So we might learn a wee bit about that this week too. Ali, are you going to keep adding your paint? Alice, keep painting. Okay, so lots and lots of colours all around. 
friends all in the sky. Okay, so you keep going with that, Ali. And I think it's gonna look really good when it's finished. But lots of colors around about as well. You can use a big brush too if you like. Okay, so we're having to think about the Eiffel Tower today. The Eiffel Tower is absolutely beautiful. It's the tallest uh, building in France, and it is one of the tallest buildings in the world as well. I think it once maybe was the tallest building in the world. Um, and it really stands out on the French skyline. If you look at a picture of, um, of Paris, sorry, if you look at a picture of Paris, you can always see the Eiffel Tower standing really high above everything else. And it's quite beautiful. So it's got me thinking about towers and I thought we'll do our picture of the Eiffel Tower, but we also might have a go at building some towers at home as well. So I was wondering if anyone at home could think of things that they could use to build a tower. I had a wee look around my house and I was looking and I was thinking, you know, you could probably build a tower out of anything. You could build a tower out of pillows or cushions and things like that. Sometimes you do that kind or of thing. Shops. Or shops. <laughs> Um, and all the things all in your shop. Shops. Yes, well, all your papers and things, you could build towers out of that, and you could build towers out of, um, I was going to say CDs, but probably people don't have CDs anymore. But anyway, so I've gathered up two different things, and I wondered which one we thought would make the tallest tower. I thought we could try um, using tin. I made a snake on oh. the Eiffel Tower. Oh, that's cool. So I thought we could try doing a tower out of tins and a tower out of boxes. And I wonder if which one will be the tallest tower. Okay, so I was just adjusting the camera a tiny bit there. So we are going to build a tower out of tins and see how tall it is and a tower out of boxes. So Alice, which tower do you think is going to be the tallest, the boxes or the tins? Uh, um, this one. The boxes, right. Well, let's see. See, hopefully people can kind of see. I'm going to move our table back just now. Here we are. Okay. Right, Alice, we're going to start with the tins. Okay. So let's build our tins. We're going to go one, two, two three. Oh, another one. Four. Yep. We're going to put them all on top of each other to make it as tall as possible. So we'll put these two on top. That makes five. Tower of Tins is the tallest, but you know what we could do? We could try turning some of the boxes around. So this one was lying like that, but if we turn it up that way, so let's see. But then it's much more likely to fall. One, two, three, five. four, five, four, six, and seven. Now, which one is the tallest one? The boxes is taller now, isn't it? It depends how you stack them. Yeah, so let's make a smaller tower. Okay, so you can build the towers, and I'm gonna really look at how your Eiffel Tower painting has turned out, and show everybody. Okay, there we go. Let's bring that back in. So Alice has cut. Well, Alice and I have made a very bright picture with all of these lovely look, paints. Look, I made a small tower. Now, the best this thing... one may be big and this one is small. Well done. Good girl, Alice. We're going to peel off the masking tape. Usually you wait until 
it's all completely dry. Is this, is this but big or is where's this the fun big? in that? So this is big. there goes one. Do you want to help me peel these off, Ellie? Yes. Okay, you're gonna peel that one for me. Yes. Whoa. Yeah. Right, you've got I think three more bits of tape to come off. And they're still a bit wet. Definitely wait till it's dry at home if you're gonna do this, right? Peel that one. Mm. There we go. And we've got this big one. Ready? Whoa. <laughs> that one and one last one, Ellie. Are we ready for this? Here we go. Whoa, there we go. Look, it's our Eiffel Tower surrounded by fireworks. I think that looks quite a lot like a Bastille Day celebration. I think this is perfect. I think it is too. Okay, so if anyone fancies making some towers at home, please let me know. You could try our tower painting or you could try making some towers out of things that you find around the house. I'd love to see what the tallest tower you can build is. Also, maybe you've got some bricks. Bricks are great for building towers. Mega blocks and Duplo and things like that are terrific. Um, so let me know how you get on. Let's see who can build the tallest tower. Have a great day, everyone. Au revoir. Bye. Bye.